welcome back or welcome to my channel so today i'm gonna be showing you guys how to make the little salmon roll that have been going around on twitter and tiktok um you may have seen it you may have not but i did so yeah they look super good and i want to make it so i'm gonna make it today um yeah, i'm gonna just say it's not hard it's just and just watch the video <laughs> we're in the kitchen today so this is a little bit different from the content i usually put on my channel but we're gonna be cooking today okay this is another part of my life you know stuff that i like to do i like to cook and i like to bake i've been cooking and baking since i was in middle school so yeah i'm gonna put y'all on game real quick or whatever <laughs> Yeah, we're cooking today. We're gonna make salmon rolls that have been going around. Well, they might not have been going around, but they were on TikTok and I think on Twitter and other places. But my cousin sent it to me and she was like, you need to make this cause she know I'll be cooking. We're gonna make it today and never made it before. All the sides I have made before. So I already know how to make those. I'm still show y'all how to make the sides as well. But this video is about the salmon roll. So that's the title of the video. But I'm gonna still put y'all on to the sides too. Cause you need your sides. Don't be cooking meat and no sides. Like what are you doing? So yeah, the sides that we're gonna have, I've already made before. I already know how to do, not worry about that. But I've never made salmon rolls before. So we're gonna make them cause they look muy bien. Muy bien. Muy bien. I just know it's about to go crazy too. I know it's about to be good. Yeah, we're gonna be cooking today. Don't mind my kitchen, okay? This is my grandma's house. So, you know, it's a little old school kind of vibe going on, old fashioned, old stuff around here, okay? So yeah, don't be talking about my grandma's house. Have you lost your rabbit ass mind? May she rest in peace. So I'm gonna run down the ingredients real quick and we finna get to whipping. I'm gonna teach y'all how to cook some shit, okay? You don't need that nigga, that nigga needs you. All right, so I have everything separated so this is for the salmon rolls these are the sides over here but for the salmon rolls you're gonna need obviously a whole fillet of salmon is that what you call it a fillet a whole thing you need the whole thing of salmon this whole chunk right here you need some cream cheese this needs to be room temperature because you got to stir this I promise you you will hate yourself if you try and stir this straight out of the refrigerator so you need to let this sit out for a while which I completely forgot about so yeah I just now taking mine out so we're gonna start on the sides before we do the meat i usually do my meat first but we're gonna do the sides first so this has time to soften up jalapenos i have jalapenos in this bag right here and then for seasonings you can season it how you want i just be putting stuff on there but the seasonings that i will be using paprika parsley slap your mama honey garlic powder brown sugar salt and pepper and then you'll need some cooking spray of course because we don't need nothing sticking okay for the side so broccoli we're gonna have broccoli we just have you know the steamable bags of broccoli make it super easy you just need the broccoli and you know a little salt and pepper butter country crock then for the mac and cheese the type of mac and cheese that i make this is not the soul food baked mac and cheese this is a different kind of baked mac and cheese this is the mac and cheese that i eat when i don't feel like eating the soul food baked mac and cheese like found this recipe some years ago when i got tired of eating that so that's the one i'm making today so you're gonna need unsalted butter your elbow pasta cream cheese again half and half panko breadcrumbs sharp cheddar cheese and you also need mozzarella cheese you can use um parmesan cheese that's what i usually use shredded parmesan cheese but i don't have any and this is the only thing i had access to at the time at the store that I'm close to. So yeah, we're gonna use that. And yeah, I think that's everything. So let's get started on the mac and cheese. First step, wash your hands. Now we're gonna fill up a boiler halfway with water so we can start boiling the water for the macaroni. All right, so that's boiling. So we're gonna start on the sauce for the mac and cheese. So um, I just sprayed my pot with some of the cooking spray. You really don't need to with these copper chef pots and pans that you don't need no type of cooking spray nothing sticks to these but i just spray some anyway so we're going to turn it on medium to low heat we're going to add the half and half now i'm halving this whole recipe so if you want like a full big pan or whatever then just double everything i'm telling you but yeah i'm gonna put one and one fourth cups of half and half and you have to keep this at a constant stir because you don't then it'll start sticking and lumping up and that's not what you want you want a creamy 
sauce. Like we don't, we don't want lumps. We don't want lumps. Oh y'all, I forgot to add cayenne pepper. The recipe calls for cayenne pepper. I don't know if it makes a difference because you're only supposed to add one eighth of a teaspoon, which is really nothing. I'll just add a little bit. Like I said, I really don't think it does anything. I have added it every time I made this, but I really don't taste it. So I guess you can choose if you wanna add it or not. Dang, this water already boiling. But you just wanna stir this for 15 minutes and we'll start adding the cheese and everything. Now that this is boiling, we can add our pasta. It calls for one pound of pasta, but like I said, I'm halving the recipe. So I'm only gonna use half a pound. This is a two pound box, so I'm just kind of guessing what a half a pound might be. We're gonna turn the pasta down to medium heat because I had it on power boil just then. Oh y'all, I forgot to say to season your water. I put, I just put salt in there, but yeah, I forgot to say that. Stir the noodles and we're gonna let that cook for 10 to 12 minutes. It says to cook it till it's al dente because we're gonna put it in the oven too and let it finish cooking all the way through because it's gonna absorb some of the sauce. I just cook it for 10 to 12 minutes. So yeah, I'm not gonna sit here and stir this for 15 minutes or let y'all watch this cook for 10 minutes. I will just come back when the 15 minutes are up with this and the 10 minutes are up with that. All right, y'all, so the 15 minutes are up. The macaroni isn't quite done yet, but we're still gonna finish the sauce. So, so now, we're gonna add our cream cheese. I use one eight ounce pack of cream cheese and you just stir this until it melts and then we'll add the other cheeses. I'm gonna check the noodles real quick. See how they're coming along over here. Okay, they're pretty al dente right now. If you don't know what that means, I think it's just, um, it's like not fully cooked, but like almost fully cooked. Um, we're gonna go ahead and turn out the noodles while we finish up the sauce. It's not gonna take much longer. The cream cheese is pretty much melted now. So so now we're gonna add the cheeses and I used one and a half cups of sharp cheddar and half a cup of mozzarella. So we're just gonna add all of it. We can go ahead and turn this out and just let the residual heat melt the cheese. And that's it for the sauce. Once you've got all that stirred in and boom, there's your cheese sauce. So we're gonna let that sit over here while we drain the pasta. Um, leave a little bit of water in here just to help this mix better. Once we add the noodles to the cheese, just leave a little bit of water in there. I mean, when I say a little bit, a little bit. Just enough to cover the bottom of the pot a little bit. Don't, don't leave too much. But yeah, I'm gonna drain that and add it to the cheese. All right, so we're about to add the pasta now. I just drained it. Like I said, I left a little bit of water. Go ahead and stir this up before I add the rest because I feel like the pot was getting a little full. But yeah, you're just mixing it until, you know, all the noodles are covered in cheese. Nobody gets left out. Okay, we don't discriminate around here. Okay, I'm gonna add the rest of the noodles now. But yeah, this is my favorite kind of macaroni when I'm not eating, you know, the classic soul food baked mac and cheese. Don't knock it till you try it. You may think like, you know, from the ingredients, like, girl, what is this? But it's really good. And everyone else seems to like it because they be eating it. So try it out. Let's try it out. Look at that. Creamy. So now we can add it to our baking dish, whatever baking dish you want to use. Just spray it with some cooking spray. Yeah. Just add it to whatever dish you want to bake it in. And boom. So we're not done with this yet. What we're gonna do now is top it with some cheese. You're just gonna take the cheese, that sharp cheddar and mozzarella or whatever cheese you decide to use and just add some on top. like that, just enough to cover the surface. Then you're gonna take your unsalted butter and breadcrumbs. Now the breadcrumbs are optional. I like breadcrumbs on top of my mac and cheese. If you don't like that, you don't have to add it. You can just stop right here and put it in the oven and boom. But I like it with breadcrumbs, so I'm gonna show y'all how to mix that concoction up real quick. All right, so for the breadcrumbs, you're gonna add two tablespoons of unsalted butter and you're gonna melt this in the microwave. You wanna melt your butter and then add half a cup of the panko breadcrumbs. All right, so boom. Now we're gonna add it on top of our mac and cheese. Oh, and I added a little pepper to the breadcrumbs, so I'm just gonna add a little bit more on top. And boom, so that's ready to go into the oven, but we're not gonna put it in there quite yet because I want my food cooking at the same time. And yeah, we're gonna do the meat real quick, but that's not gonna take long, so. Yeah! 
We're gonna let the oven be preheating while we do the meat. I'm just gonna put both the top and bottom oven on 375. So first I'm gonna rinse my salmon off. If you don't rinse your meat or wash your meat or whatever, you're going straight to jail. Cause like, what is this? In this, like, no. Rinse your meat off. One hour later, two hours later, three hours later. Can you move it along? I'm all out of time cards. I had to cut the skin off the freaking salmon. I've been here a, a good little minute. Don't ever buy it with the skin on it. If you go, if you plan on cutting the skin off, if you cook it with the skin on, then whatever. But I don't. Don't ever do that if you don't want the skin on it. Just buy it with no skin. Cause cutting that off, I don't even want to eat this no more. But I went ahead and chopped up my jalapenos. I only chopped up like four because there's not really any measurements on the recipe or whatever. So yeah, I don't know how much to use. So I just chopped up four hopefully that's enough i can add more if not but i just chopped up four of these little ones so now we're gonna add the cream cheese wow my camera is really finna die right now i need you want to stir this and incorporate it i'll be right back because i'm gonna have to switch to my phone Ugh. all right y'all so i ended up adding one more jalapeno and some more parsley because i feel like i didn't have enough going on in here like there's like it had more green stuff in it and i ain't see a enough green stuff in mine so i added another jalapeno and i added more parsley i don't know if i just should have added more parsley or added both i don't know but in total i used five little jalapenos and i just kept dashing the parsley in there until it looked green enough boom here's that we're gonna sit that over there and then we're gonna go season the freaking salmon that i just sat here for a whole freaking hour trying to get the freaking skin off of it so i'm gonna add some salt don't be shy now don't be shy with the seasoning i'm gonna use one hand to pat and flip it so i don't cross contaminate touching the season you get it so i'm gonna just pat it in also you need to pat your salmon dry pat it dry before you and then we're gonna do the other side I should have got a long enough pan. I'm gonna add some pepper. And do the other side. I'm gonna add some garlic powder. Slap your mama. Some paprika. Then you wanna add, here's the kicker y'all. This, add brown sugar. And don't be shy at all with it. Now I'm gonna wash my hands. All right, so now it's time for the fun part, adding the filling and you know, cutting it into little rolls. Now, let's roll it up. So you're just gonna roll it. All right, so this is the part where you cut it in the rolls, I guess. They say cut it thick, so maybe like this, is this thick enough? Now, how I get it up without unrolling it? See, I tried this on chicken breast earlier this week so I could kind of have the hang of this roll thing, but this ain't working like the chicken. Do I need a spatula? Okay, I think that's a roll. They say to make a bed of citrus when you put it in the pan, but I don't have no citrus and I really don't want none because I'm I'm not the type, I like lemon and stuff on my seafood. Yeah, I don't like that, so I'm gonna just spray it. Okay, get it together. Uh, -uh cause see she trying to fall apart. No, stop. That's as good as this is gonna get. Okay, this one, I don't know what happened. This one looks good, this one looks all right. I don't know what happened here. It's kind of hard to hold together. Maybe you should put like toothpicks or something in it through it to hold it together. But they didn't do that in the video. They're just cut so easy. Maybe this knife is too dull or something. Cause I was like sawing and like wiggling it apart. But we gonna cook it and we still gonna eat it. We'll just use this one for presentation. Anywho, we're just gonna top it with some more brown sugar. 
like that and honey just because i feel like it would be good so we're gonna do it so yeah i'm gonna cover it with aluminum foil don't know how long to cook it for because nobody put instructions on their video so we're just gonna put it in and watch it now the mac and cheese you only have to cook till the cheese bubbles and then you turn on the broiler to brown the breadcrumbs, brown the top or whatever. Same in the bottom oven. Mac and cheese in the top oven. All right, y'all. So boom, the salmon is done. The mac and cheese is done. I left the salmon in the oven for about 45 to 55 minutes. So yeah, that's how long I left it in there. And like I said, with the mac and cheese, 10 to 15 minutes to the cheese bubbles. And then I turned boiler on to brown the breadcrumbs. But now we gotta do the freaking broccoli. So we're not done yet. But I say the broccoli for last because it doesn't take long. So boom, all you do, pop this in the microwave for five minutes. Okay, here we go. Boom, just like that. But yeah, um, the salmon looks pretty good. I hope it tastes as good, even though some of them aren't as pretty. But it's cool, as long as it tastes good. And I already know this is gonna be busting. I make this all the time, so. I think next time what I'm gonna do is use like skewers or something to hold it together and cut it so it doesn't fall apart like that. That might be a little tip that you might wanna try because yeah, my shit is falling apart and that's not cute. So let's plate it up while we wait these last two minutes for the broccoli. That's super easy, you just add butter, salt, and pepper. Boom, yeah, I'll still show you. All right, y'all, y'all really have to show y'all how easy this broccoli is. Just dump the broccoli in a bowl or something. Boom, salt, pepper, boom, butter, country crock. Do a nice little one of them. Stir it up till all the butter is melted. Boom, that easy. And now we're done. I chose the pretty one for the thumbnail and the plating or whatever. So we gonna use her for the thumbnail. Don't tell nobody about the other ones though. They was just misbehaving, that's all. They just need a little, need a little guidance, that's all. Okay, but y'all ready? Boom. Boom. At least I got a couple of decent ones. So I'm not even mad at the ones that came out slow. So yeah, I'm about to eat this cause I'm hungry. I'm gonna have me a smoothie, my Timmy blend smoothie. If you watch my morning routine, then you know about this. I have been drinking this. I don't, can't remember when they sent it to me. Probably like two, three, three and a half. I don't know, weeks ago. And I've been drinking it since then and still loving it. I'm still using the same recipe. So if you wanna know how I make mine, then you can Go to my morning routine and see how I make it. I use the Timmy Blends Green Superfood Blend, which helps you get your daily intake of vegetables if you don't eat your vegetables like you're supposed to. That's all this is for. That's the only thing it does. It also promotes natural energy levels, which I definitely notice a difference when I drink these and when I don't, that I have more energy than I normally do because I'm usually super tired and need a nap like midday. You know what I'm saying? That hasn't really been an issue since I've been drinking these. So yeah, I'm gonna have me one of these with my food. Go shop with Timmy Blends. Like I said, if you want this, this is just the um, Green Superfood Blend that just helps you get your daily intake of vegetables. 100% plant-based, vegan, GMO-free, gluten-free, soy-free, dairy-free, no artificial flavors, additives, colors, or chemicals. So yeah, if you don't eat your vegetables like you're supposed to, this may be a good alternative for you if you like smoothies. Yeah, go shop with them. They also have other things like protein powders and whatnot. But if you're not really into wellness and things like that, they do have skincare products. So yeah, if you're not big on the teas, they have detox teas and protein powders and all that they have skincare which who doesn't love skincare like you need to be taking care of your skin so and all of it is 100 percent plant-based and vegan so go shop with them use my code ageelise20 for 20 percent off or ageelise30 for 30 percent off i'll put my codes in the description and my links but yeah i'm about to have me one of these also y'all tmi about these smoothies but i just want to put it out there it keeps you regular you know going to the bathroom you know going poopsie okay it keeps you regular but you know if you eat fruits and vegetables anyway then you know they kind of make you go poo so yeah keeps you regular oh y'all i didn't even do a taste test i was gonna end the video and everything let me taste it because i don't had everything on this plate before except the salmon which is the whole point of the video so let's taste it to get a good amount of the filling Bro, this is 
fire. Especially with the brown sugar and the honey on top. It's like bringing it all together. I knew I was making a good choice adding that honey on there. This go crazy. Like the jalapenos, the freaking salmon. Oh, I'm making this again. I'm making it again. Hey, if you got a man or something, I bet you he married you if you make him this. Bro, what? Like, I'm finna I'm gonna taste the macaroni now. You know, I already know what it tastes like, but just so y'all know, it's good. Just as I thought. Bomb. Y'all, I really went crazy. Like, even though the other ones was ugly, it's the inside that counts. And it's good. Make this. Make this. Tag me if you make it. This the truth. I did that. But yeah, that is my first cooking video on my channel. Let me know if you like this type of content. I added some new content to the channel or whatever yeah i already do all my beauty things y'all know i'm in all things beauty makeup hair clothing hauls all that i sew here and there skincare all that and cooking and baking is one of my other favorite things to do so if y'all want me to keep making videos like this y'all want to see any baking videos like cookies or cupcakes pies whatever we could do that we could do that but yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this new content we'll be back to regularly scheduled programming soon i Friday, I'm getting my hair done. I'm taking these out finally. I wanted to take these out today or yesterday, but the freaking doctor's office called me talking about I got a doctor's appointment on Wednesday and I don't want to go looking stupid. So I'm gonna leave these in till Wednesday and I'm gonna take them out. I'm gonna film me taking them out and how I take them out because I know some people don't know how to take out butterfly locks. I sure didn't. And I was like, I'm gonna get these out my head because they all wrapped up and tangled up in there. But I got a video for that. So I will be filming how I take these out. And also I'll be vlogging me getting my real hair done. I'm getting it done on Friday and I'm getting it straightened for the first time in three years, almost three years. And I'm getting it trimmed because it definitely needs a trim, I know. Yeah, I desperately need a trim and I can't wait to see my straight hair because I have not seen it in forever. And y'all have never seen it. So that's why I'm vlogging it so y'all can see my straight hair. And I may vlog on Saturday because Saturday I'm doing a booth. If you don't know, I have my own website, my own little small business. I sell lashes, lip gloss, that I make bags, jewelry, and I make hand make okay, hand make velvet do rags, satin lined, not satin lined, however you want it. But yeah, I have those right now in fall colors, limited time only. Well, the fall color, not the do rags, the fall colors, limited time only. Yeah, so I'm doing a booth, like a little pop up type of thing this weekend with my business. So I usually only take orders online, but when I do booths or whatever, I've only done one booth before, but this is my second time. Then obviously, you can come and shop with me in person, and you know, some people like to do that because they like to have the items on hand or whatever. So yeah, I might vlog that. I don't know. I'm not sure if y'all would be interested in seeing that for real. Yeah, that's what I'm doing on Saturday. And I got some new products brewing. Yeah, that is it for this video. I'm gonna go ahead and eat, edit this video and upload it today. I got a lot to do and I've been up all night. I've not been asleep. So yeah, if you're a YouTuber, you know the struggle of filming, editing, and uploading in the same day. So I'm gonna go ahead and get started on that and quit sitting here talking to y'all. Hope y'all enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe to my channel, please. And thank you. And make sure your post notifications are on so you don't ever miss when I post because you don't want to do that. You don't want to do that. So make sure your post notifications are on and I will see y'all in my next video. Bye.